Hello. In this video, we're going to offer an introduction to using Physicel Studio. And to get you started, here's the link that you should reference for the Studio Guide. It's in the GitHub Physicel Tools and under the Studio Guide repository. So let's get started. Here we're looking at Physicel Studio. And at a high level, it's just a interactive graphical tool with multiple tabs that let you access various parameters associated with a Physicel model, as well as additional uh, functionality. So we are looking at the config basics tab, and that basically lets you define the domain of your model, this top section. And then it lets you define the runtime, the simulation runtime, as well as various DTs, um, time steps that are used in the Physicel uh, framework. And as a beginner, you should just leave these alone and especially the DTs, but the other parameters as well until you become more comfortable with the uh, introductory sample models and then eventually your own model. And then just on down here, you can specify the number of open MP threads that you want your uh, simulation to use. It helps speed up the simulation. The output folder, <clears throat> And then this uh, section defines how frequently you would like output saved, your output files. So we recommend that you keep these output intervals in sync using this checkbox. Um, and that will avoid some confusion when you start plotting. So just leave those values uh, synchronized. Next section is uh, there in case you provide some initial conditions of your cells, their locations and cell types. And the last section down here is uh, defining sort of global behaviors for cells. So virtual walls essentially says when a cell gets too close to the domain boundaries, it will be nudged away. So this will prevent cells from sticking to the uh, domain boundaries. And then disable springs will do just that. It will um, disable cells having spring dynamics between them. So typically you want to leave that unchecked. So you want to enable spring, spring attachments, spring dynamics. So that's the config basics. And by the way, this particular studio was started with the template project in mind. So we're looking at the parameters for the template sample model in Physicel. The next tab is the microenvironment. So this is where you define any substrate or signal that you will have in your microenvironment that the cells will interact with. Um, so by default in the template model, you have a single substrate called substrate. However, you can go here and double click that if you want to and rename it something. So just re rename it whatever and hit enter. So now it's called oxygen. And if you have additional substrates, you can either make a brand new one, which will use default parameters for the substrate, or you can make a copy of the existing one and it will copy over those parameters. Um, and the, it will be named substrate with a numeric suffix. But again, you can rename that if you want, or for the time being, we simply want to delete that, that one. We just wanna have a single substrate for the template model. And as it turns out, um, 
this substrate for the template model isn't actually used for anything, at least initially. So you notice here, as far as color-coded buttons, most of the buttons you see in the studio will be colored green, um, but the yellow colored buttons simply mean warning that this is a destructive type operation. So that's all the color codes mean. So that's the microenvironment tab. The cell types is um, by far the most complex tab as far as parameters. And the reason for that is because one, it's where the cell types will de be defined, but it's also where the phenotype for each cell type is defined. So <clears throat> all of these sub tabs here uh, let you define those cell type phenotypes. So here we're looking at the cell cycle and you can select from predefined cycle types. Here it's using flow cytometry separated for the template model and then all the relevant parameters for that particular cell cycle. And if, if we would change to a different one, we would see these you know, options for the parameters change, but we'll leave it what it was. <clears throat> and so we could step across here. We will step across very briefly these various uh, sub tabs and look at the phenotype, but just as we could for the microenvironment, we can also redefine um, you know, the cell type name. And if I can spell, and we'll call it cancer cell. So, and similarly, you can create a new cell type, you can create a copy of the existing cell type of the selected cell type. Um, so stepping across here, here's the death uh, parameters. And notice there's two types of death, apoptosis and necrosis. And by the way, this video is primarily just to show the mechanics of how you use the studio. The details of all of these parameters are best learned by you by reading the uh, Physicel user guide itself. Um, so here we're going to keep it quite brief, but the volume subtab simply defines the volume, you know, total volume of that cell type as well as other parameters, mechanics, how do cells uh, behave mechanically amongst themselves and amongst other cell types. So notice here, we uh, see that this one is got cancer cell. Had we defined a second uh, cell type, it would also appear in this drop down box, but we don't, we just have one. Uh, motility, are cells allowed to be motile? That is move around, are they allowed to chemotax? So for example, if we enabled chemotaxis, we would see these cancer cell types chemotax towards higher oxygen concentrations, for example. But again, in the uh, template, sample model, we do not have chemotaxis uh, or motility. Secretion, uh, are, are, is a cell type allowed to secrete the substrates or signals? Again, in the template, no, they are not. There's no secretion rate or uptake rate. Interactions uh, is uh, more complex and that will be uh, discussed later in another video and or in uh, workshop materials. Intracellular is even more complex. If you do have intracellular models, um, you can define their parameters here. And currently with this version of the studio, we only allow one intracellular model, which is the Boolean type, but 
for the template model, there is none. And lastly, for the subtabs, there's uh, custom data, which is just that. It's custom data pertaining to the cell types. So uh, those will be described in greater detail in other more relevant sample models. But for the template model, there's a single custom data variable called sample. However, it is not used. Okay, so that's the phenotype for a cell type. And then the user parameters are something that's uh, more global for the overall model. It's not particular custom data per cell type, but rather it applies to the overall model. So in this case, and by the way, this is an example of a table um, in the studio. And so for a table, you can resize the columns just by grabbing the uh, delimiter between columns in the header row and slide those across to see in case, it, in case the uh, column entries are scrunched, you can stretch those out. So it's fairly common to see a user parameter called random seed, which is used for the various random number generator uh, values used in simulations. And the number of cells is a relevant user parameter for the template model because it will define at startup, at initialization, this number five of uh, the different cell types. So since we only had one cell type, there will only be five to start with. And then, you know, throughout the simulation, those five cells will do whatever we defined they would do in the phenotype. Rules. Um, we will come back to at a later time. Um, they provide very powerful and elegant ways to define uh, cell behaviors based on signals. Initial conditions is uh, just a relatively simple way to let you define initial conditions for your cells. <laughs> So here, we since we only have one cell type, that's all that we can define. But basically, uh, you are allowed to select one of however many, currently three different types of geometry that you want your initial conditions to be defined in, an annulus or a disk, a box or a ring. And I won't illustrate each one, but let's just go with annulus and disk. And over here, the choices of how those regions will be filled are one of two types currently, either randomly or hex filled, so a hex packing. Um, so if we just click um, plot, we will see random cells in an annulus whose inner radius is 50 defined there and whose outer radius is 200. So if we didn't like that, you can say undo the last one. If you wanna make it, uh, I don't know, 300. And if you wanna make it a total um, disc instead of an annual, annulus, you would make the inner radius zero. And, oh, I had a random fill. So if you undo that, and then go with a hex fill and then do a plot. Then we see that we can create a disk of hexagonally filled cancer cells. And so you can play around with the initial conditions. And then you would of course want to save those um, into some file, a CSV file. And then after you save those into this you know, your config directory, for example. If you want to use those, you would go back to the config basics and say, enable. And that's what they were called with cells.csv. Um, but again, for the 
to demonstrate the template model with the default parameters, I am simply going to hit run and it will run project, which is the executable name of the template project. And you'll notice that we see here in the run tab, the outputs that you would normally see in your terminal if you're running Physicel from the command line. So it outputs every 60 minutes. And then finally, you can go over to the plot tab and you can simply hit play <coughs> to see those cells uh, proliferate for one thing, because that was the cell cycle that we defined. And if you just keep hitting play, it will continue to update the plot tab with whatever the latest results are in the run. So then when you're done, you know, you've had enough, you can simply cancel that if you want or let it run to completion. And then you can come back here and run. And we will keep it simple and stop at that for now, but there's a lot more related to just plotting, which will be uh, demonstrated at another time. Thank you.